Welcome to Silver Barkeep. I'm Brian Anderson coming to you from Anderson's Guitar Bar here in lovely League City, Texas. Take a look at Athletics, Athletic Maybach. Maybach is a Bach beer. I like Bach beers. Bachs are great. Um, typically, they're a little hearty. Uh, a lot of the winter Bachs are really dark. Uh, they're malty, which uh, I like a lot. Um, and uh, real, a lot of the Bachs are high alcohol, which is kind of interesting to see that they've got a non-alcoholic Bach. And this is a Maybach, which Mai is May in German. And it, it's typically, a Maybach is a style of beer that's, that's, uh, that's created in a very short period of time in the May time frame uh, for early spring in Germany. Uh, and what they do is kind of a transition Bach. Uh, it's got lighter malts, and so you end up with a lighter color, but yet you get that, that real malty flavor to it that you would get in a Bach beer. Uh, and, and higher alcohol. Uh, the difference is you do get a little hops in it as well. So it's got a little hop bite to it as well as the malty goodness of a Bach. And so a Maybach is a very interesting style. It's created only in a short period of time every year uh, in Germany um, in the May time frame. And, you know, the Germans, they're pretty strict about their, their beer laws and, and how they do stuff. So let's take a look at what Athletic has done with their Maybach. And so you see right off the bat as it's being poured, it is a very light color. Uh, which is what you would expect out of a Maybach. Um, when you smell it, smell the malt. Although you do get some hoppiness in this one. It's very interesting. It's just, and that's what you expect out of a Maybach, uh, is, is that you, you expect that, the, the maltiness, but you do expect to get a little hoppy bite in there. So it's kind of a, it's an interesting beer. And let's see how they've, they've got it with taste. When I taste this, it is a mouth full of flavor. Very beer flavor to me, and beer flavor meaning it's got that really nice maltiness to it, but it's got just enough hops in there to really give it a little bite as well. So you don't get, you know, some malty beers can almost be cloy. It's just they, they lack that, that complexity, that tongue tingle, that bite that you get out of out of some of the, the, the more crisp malts even, and out of uh, some of the, the um, uh, uh, hops that they're gonna put in there. Uh, and, and this is, a, 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 the Vienna hops is, uh, are in here. Uh, they, they have some of the, uh, the, kind of almost like a transition hop, if you will. It's not hoppy like you would expect in an IPA. It's not hoppy, although it's a Pilsner style um, hop that's in this. And that's what's interesting, is they use a Pilsner-style hop in a malty beer. And I think that's why it's got that very unique flavor to it. And I like it. I think it's just absolutely delicious. I'm giving this a five because it just nails the Maybach flavor. It's got a tiny, teeny bit of saltiness to it. Um, uh, but it's more on the, the, the long aftertaste. It's not in the foretaste like you would get out of some of the beers that have that more salty flavor to it. But what's really nice... Is it is malt forward, but gosh, that, that that tingle and that bite with just enough hops. It's just, this is a delicious beer. This is this is a really easy beer to drink. It's a really nice beer to drink. It's a really fun beer to drink. I like this one a lot. From the Silver Barkeep, live well and drink smart.